Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, or I am Christ, and that and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay? So all these are the start of all the destruction that's to come upon the land, man. And the only way to get right is to follow the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments and have faith in Jesus, okay? Or his real name is Yahweh Shai. That's the only way to get right, okay? Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay? So, we're already being hated for the Lord's name, man. People looking at us like you're crazy and so forth. But that's cool. That's what the scriptures say you would do. Verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Okay? And that's perfect because I remember I was bringing this out to a person I know. I was trying to get to them with the truth, tell them who they really are. And they told me straight up that I was offending them. They said I was being offensive. Okay? I'm sorry that this is what the scriptures say. You know, I didn't write it. I just read it. Okay? And I'm prophesying it. So if you're being offended, you're just fulfilling prophecy. Verse 11, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So nobody's saved yet, man. The only way to be saved is to follow these laws, judges, and commandments, and make the Yahweh God, who they really call Jesus Christ, and go to the end of the day. All right? That's the only way to be saved. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let him which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetops not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is fled, returned back to his clothes. All right. Then, verse, uh, verse 19, And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Okay? For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor shall ever shall be. Okay? And except those days should be shortened, there shall be no flesh saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Alright? So that's how bad the tribulation is going to be upon this earth, man. It's going to be so bad that the, day, the Most High God is going to have to shorten the days so that, someone, that some people can make it out. Because if not, everybody would be dead. All right? Second Ezra, chapter 15, starting at verse 
starting at verse 10. Okay? Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right? America is spiritually Egypt. America is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. Shalom, huh? Shalom, brother. Hey, y'all about some y'all side Rakata. Quam Yasharala. Hey, Rakata, brother. Hey. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Okay, so America is spiritually Egypt. What church you with, bro? Uh, Great Millstone. Great Millstone. Okay. Check us out. All right. Shalom. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hell with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw not. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Okay? So there's going to be race wars when the, when the destruction comes, man. There's going to be race wars. There's going to be mass death, famine, diseases, all that, man. The only way to prepare yourself is spiritually, okay? Get right with the Lord. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall be stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay? And that's going to be through the martial law. That's going to be upon the land when they uh, implement the chip. Okay? And people are going to be going against each other, man. It's literally going to be black versus white. Okay? Green, uh, you know what I'm saying? Red versus blue. All right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? So that's how bad the famine is. Your own neighbor going to try to kill you in those days, man. All right? That's how bad the famine the Lord is about to send upon the land. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Libanus, to turn themselves one against another to repay the things that they have done to them. Like as they do, do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense their bosom. Thus saith the Lord God. Okay? So everything that they're doing to the so-called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, okay, the real Israelites, the Bible speaks of, everything they do to those people, the Lord's going to put it back on the people who did it to them. All right? 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6 says it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to those who trouble us. Okay? Verse 22, My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not seize over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. Okay? So the Most High is going to get y'all, man. The so-called police shooting us down in the street, the Most High is going to repay them for that. The fire is gone forth from his wrath and hath consumed the foundations of the earth and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I'll read it again. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. All right? That's plain and simple. Don't let your Christian church fool you. We must keep the commandments of the Most High God. The law is not done away with. 